It's time for the Night Blizz Report for this Wednesday evening, November 5th, 1986. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. The business news here for this Wednesday evening. And our top story here is trade issues are gained to get priority to the next Congress. The Democrats who gain control of the Senate have expressed an interest in stricter trade laws. Corporate representatives, in turn, said that business interests must guard against measures that would invite retaliation from trading partners. Lawmakers of both parties said that new trade legislation would probably not be as extreme as campaign or Tory might have suggested. They also said that the White House now approved the more willing to work with Congress under trade matters. Ways to sharpen U.S. competitiveness in the trade and are being studied to the administration, which is word that exports have failed to respond to the deep cuts in the value of the dollar and the removal of some foreign trade barriers. Voters nationwide approved some point for that billion dollars of bond issues after eight point seven eight billion dollars that was proposed. On no problem, and apparently has sold his stake in CPC, ended a takeover that was a takeover threat that caused its price of the stock to plunge. CPC said it was brought four billion of its shares from its investment in and advisor Solomon Brothers Wall Street sources and Solomon and brought the shares from Mr. Pearl, but the betrayers were believed to the club. Very as many as five billion CPC shares, many of them brought at six prices of eighty dollars more. Stock closed at $78, down $6.50 before CPC's announcement. The shares had traded as high as $88.50, the price Mr. Provo was said of received. AT&T, Saudi's employees, and Saturday's by the reports that widespread layoffs are planned and sent to the public reports that 50,000 jobs will be eliminated from its information service division were based on speculation. The company said that the number of jobs had to be cut, not be determined. An Albany financial service firm was sued by the New York Attorney General, who have accused it of defrauding investors of more than $55 billion in the case brought against murdered Pundit was said to be the largest sex act should be ever taken. First murdered lawyer said that he had not seen the suit when would not come in. Beach Nut Nutrition was in it that it charges itself 40 apple juice. Two executives of the nation's second largest maker of baby food were also indicted on the charges involving a product distributed from 1978 to 1983. Beach Nut said it would plead not guilty to that the two executives denied the allegations. A two bill law lease deal for a, by the fucker, airliners had to, airliners have been sent by the Dutch Aviation Company and a joint venture company for a Guinness fleet of Ireland and Mitsubishi in Japan. Interest rates rose slightly in the credit market as securities deals suggested a large option of the new 10 year treasury notes. The 9.75 billion dollar notes sold for 7.25%, slightly higher than the pre auction trading, but still the lowest auction yield ever. For that maturity, the three-part treasury financial account could stay with a $9.25 billion offered of a new 30-year bonds. Stock prices were modestly higher and heavy volume as investors concluded that the election would not prior to such major shift in economic policy. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 6.60 points to 1,089.04. Followed again by takeover related trade in Germany of 183.2 billion shares. The Dow rebounded after a decline in early Asian trade believed to have been a reaction to the Democratic victories in the election. Gold prices fell. The late quote in New York was four six dollars and twenty five cents, down two dollars and fifty cents. In the future markets, previous just metals contracts dropped there with pen and punch in twenty dollars an ounce. The electronic system for power stern has been developed one advantage over the hydraulic system now. In general use that the new system keeps working even if the car's engine shuts off. So automakers are set to the idea. The investment houses are escalating the size of commitments. They are making a takeover situation. They are a cap for a deal. And insert James Goldsmith's move on good year films on Wall Street dollars are involved. And that's where the numbers put on this. Wednesday, November 5th, 1986. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.